Another significant business activity in the area is the availability of food services. It's uh, my arena of food. People come from different areas to come and eat in Obalende, where you get a um, good meal and at um, reduced price is Obalende. At any time, you came to Obalende at midnight, around from morning till evening, you see food, everything. Even yourself, you look behind me, in front of me now, you see there is a man uh, doing suya, and it's per perfect. In Lagos, we are number one in Obalende here. In terms of suya, there is a place in London. Um, it's called Obalende Suya. So that name was from Obalende here, and they tried to replicate the same thing somewhere in Peckham in London. You know, just for people to see that come what we have in London is not different from what we have in Lagos. Later on the program, we'll get back to the Obalende Suya business, which is set to boom in the evenings. But for now, let's see some of the educational institutions around the Ikoyi Obalende area. Notable among other public and private schools are the Holy Child College for Girls, which was set up in 1945, and St. Gregory's College for Boys, which was founded in 1928. Not just um, St. Robert's College now, the Holy Child. We have um, 11 primary schools in Obalende. I attended Army Children's School in Obalende. And they have secondary schools as well. So we have um, four junior secondary schools that the local council is uh, responsible for. You know, so we have um, from St. George's and St. George's Primary School. We have the Akonde Down City um, School, Osborne School, we have Fuller We We have different schools around here. I would tell you, they are public schools, eh? but because they are public school doesn't mean the students are not getting quality education. Because with the input of the corporates around here, they've been able to do so much, and the input of the state government as well. Talking about corporate organizations, more than a few are present in the Ikoyi Obalinde vicinity. From the Nigeria Immigration Service to broadcasting houses, among others. Uh, 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 people from our community benefit a lot from them. We have um, different people that work there. We have people serving there. When it's time for internship, we send most of our most of our students there. And at the same time, so basically, we've been able to work together. There's this synergy with the Voice of Nigeria radio radio houses around here. There's this synergy with the council and um, for quick, like for example, we're going to fix your road at some point. We had to inform them, and they were able to like tell local residents that this is what's going on this road. At so so time of the day, you shouldn't ply these routes because well, the council are fixing this road. So we had, there's this synergy. There's this synergy. There's this synergy with um, the local radio stations around here. In terms of security, the people who live in this area, which was the former seat of power in Nigeria, seem to feel safer with the presence of security formations that surround them, even though they are faced with a new security challenge. Uh, security area, we don't have problem because if you look at the Obalende now, we have almost about it, four, five, six barracks. We have the Dodan barracks, we have Mobile 2, we have Mobile 24, we have Old barracks, we have Ije barracks. All these barracks are Obalende is in the center. So we are having good security around this place. We don't have problem, if not of recent. Uh, recent is about this, uh, these small boys that join cult. That is what we're having, but we have settled the problem. That is why I say here, yeah, we have a good coincidence between us. If anything that is going to bring problem for us, we just sit down, we iron this out, we stop it. That is how we did, that is our community for you. And most of these gangs are not core Obalinde indigenous or decent. They come outside Obalinde to operate here. That's one of the main challenge that we have now. I even like using our like neighborhood watch now to even uh, track and trace. You know, so we're watching, we're observing, and right from my office now, we can, I can view the, the, the whole of the bus stop from the comfort of my office, just seated here. So we are seeing things going on. My security team, we're all working around the clock to ensure, to make sure that whoever, whoever wants to come and, you know, 
do anything evil or negative, um, we always nab them. As authorities in the Kuyo Balinde LCDA try to deal with security challenges, nightlife in the area is taking no break. from grilled meat and chicken, popularly known as suya, billows from various ports. It's business time. All over for this area, now Obalande suya now in the number one. I don't pass 30 years. I just say suya for here. We have ram suya, we have cow meat, we have goat meat, we have guinea fowl, we have chicken, we have giza, we have kidney, we have liver, we have shaki, we have chicken neck. The taste of all of them is very, we are different. We call the chicken, the guinea fowl. He switch five chicken. Now the number one did that. You hear me back? The ram suya, the good part cow meat. Now the number two. You hear me back? The cow, he switch part goat meat. Now the number three did that. If you chop on, eh, you go not see the meat. It's very clean, it's very tasty. While some people may see Obalinde as having few similarities with Ikoyi, those are the helm of affairs in this area, see a better future for the community. You can't separate Ikoyi from Obalinde because even when you write out your addresses, it, it comes with um, Southwest Ikoyi. Ikoyi is good. Ikoyi, Ikoyi is um, developed, somewhat developed. But Obalinde is undergoing development. What we have done as a council is to see how we can, you know, bridge that gap. What differentiates um, Ikoi from Obalende is the fact that you know, Ikoi has um, the wonderful um, buildings, apartments, and, um, and if you see Obalende now, the same thing is going on Obalende because of the gentrification going on Obalende. New buildings are coming up in Obalende uh, that would house like the middle class. People are coming back to live in Obalende because it's safe, number one, and the proximity for, for us, it's, it's wonderful, it's fantastic. From Obalende, you can connect to Yaba in five minutes. From Obalende, you can connect to Koi, Victoria in less than five, ten minutes without traffic. So Obalende falls like a focal point, you know. You can move from point A to point B, you know, with, with, with ease. At this point, I'd like to thank you for your time with us on Community Reports. Thank you so much for watching. It's been my pleasure taking you through the Ikoyi Obalende Local Council Development Area. I am Jomi Otaigui. I'll see you next time.